This is AndyTube. In this video, I'm going to try and remove a broken off screw in a Singer Model 401A sewing machine. If you saw my earlier video introducing it and stuff, I showed you that. And uh, I've been thinking about it, and I had a lot of suggestions about different approaches to do this, and different um, tools, and uh, reverse screw kits, and things like that. And uh, the, the more I... Can I get closer to that? Um... Somebody apparently dropped the machine back on this corner, which knocked the lid forward. And this uh, rear, whoop, this rear arm cover mounting screw kind of snapped off flush with the aluminum casting. And the one up by the nose end uh, bent over and broke. Right there you can see it kind of leaning over and it snapped off. So this one I'm not too worried about. But this one I was trying to think if I, you know, how to, I can't get a grip on it up top. So anyway, it, it, these screws are not usually hard to remove. You know, I put a screwdriver in there and, and twist them out, lefty loosey. And uh, so I was thinking if I, I took this little 50 cent Phillips screwdriver um, and made kind of a point to dig in a little bit and I just started tapping it that maybe I could get it to just kind of start unthreading or coming out. Uh, I'll, I'll try something else but what got me thinking of that was a comment on that original video where somebody made a, a friend had said if you have a center punch just try you know a punch punching and tapping it and getting it to turn so trying to do this from oh look at that trying to do this from behind a camera is a little a little weird but I think I just yeah look <laughs> See, these are not hard to get out. Um, not like that motor cover mounting bracket screw I twisted off. Or, you know, uh, like a set screw holding a gear onto the machine or something like that. That can really be in there and they, they any gear, any screw that's affected by heat, like on a gear... They can be tough, but I've already got this twisting out just by my fingertips. Look at that. There it is. <laughs> so you had just like a little piece of one thread sticking up. And it, just enough for me to get this point I filed down a little bit on the edge of that and start tapping it around in a circle. Mm-hmm. All right, let's hope the other one comes out that easy, huh? Oh, yeah. Because it, it kind of pushed the thread down in the front, and I'm worried that some of the thread may be damaged there. So I'm just going gonna to try a little small vice grip here, a little gripper. And oh, i got to tighten that up a little bit. See if I can get a hold of it enough and just uh, come on, you there. So it's just a little kind of needle nose shaped vice gripper, and I'm hoping I can get enough. Whoop, that didn't work. How about this way?
That seems to be working. Okay, let me just do a couple more turns because even while I was turning that first full rotation, it seemed to get. E oh, now it's tough again. I think that's part of those bent threads that were towards the nose. Oh, there it comes. There we go. Right there. So you can see those screws were not too far into the body because all you know all they do is hold that uh, arm cover on. So they're not real long or deep screws in there. Um, you can see how you can see that this top uh, piece here that's from the aluminum casting isn't very thick you know about an eighth of an inch so the screw doesn't go too far past that and uh, let's see if I can kind of put it back in and test the threads once I got a hold of it good it well this might be these threads might be damaged. I'll find out. I'll have to look through my junk drawer. And uh, kind of looks like one thread is damaged in there. This back one looks real clean. They're aluminum, so if I had a nice, clean, new arm cover screw, new to this machine, I mean, and and I could get it started in either hole I think it would just kind of redo those threads as it twisted in so there we go uh, I'll find out okay. <laughs> well it took me a little longer than <laughs> I expected but I did find some arm cover screws um, and they are the same size screw it's just these are what I call bronzed and the originals were the bright metal but they're the same size and the same size coarse thread and everything uh, the color of these tells me that they came from a model 404 the Singer 404 heavy duty straight stitch on the 403A and the uh, 401 they use the bright color but I think they'll be they'll, they'll look fine because the the body of uh, the 404 is the same color scheme you know, so I'm, I'm not worried about that. And I, I'll keep my eye out for some of the... Wait, i got to check this other. That uh, front one is the one I'm a little worried about. Because sometimes bending over that screw can squash the... Uh, or pinch the threads together in the front. So... Let's see if I just want to be sure that this will go in or that it will at least kind of spread those. Yeah, this is a little tight here. Maybe it will at least straighten out the threads. I've had that on aluminum body machines before. Okay, now it's feeling, it's feeling good. So I'm going to try and put the top on and see how it, how it works out. That was a pretty easy screw removal, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to buy any special tool for that because this I don't think I'll be able to sell this machine for a lot of money because of the cosmetics. So my only hope is to get it um, as pretty as possible and running as best as possible and uh, try and get my yeah, try and get some money back out of in the wrong hole. <laughs> Pay attention, Andrew. <laughs> um, I buy those as a set of two screwdrivers for a dollar at the dollar store down the street. Make sure that this is this is going to 
go down deep enough and and bite. Yeah. And uh, I really buy them for this straight screwdriver because it's small enough to do the tension set screw, tension unit set screw. And if I didn't get that with the machine when I sell or give the machine to somebody, I want to have a, a way for them to work on the tension. But there's not any Phillips tips or star tips, you know, so I got quite a few of these. I give them away to everybody I can ask. <laughs> so I'll have to hang on to that as my busted screw removal tool. Let's see how we... Yep. Okay. As right as rain. Good as gold. Mm-hmm. They don't look bad there. Mm-hmm. Because the, the dark... The dark... Uh, screws here and there on the machine I think will be okay. Wow. Alright. That was a short video, huh? <laughs> Especially for me. Uh, at the end of the last 20 seconds here, I'll put a link to the other broken screw that I had that was on the uh, motor retention bracket on a slantomatic. That bracket on the bottom that holds on the PA style motor, and I for tried to force and it broke. I had a little bit of an adventure getting that out. This one, okay, there we go. All right, so. There's my new screws, and here's the parts I could readily find of my old uh, screws. The head and threaded part of the front screw that was broken off. See how it broke right at the thread? Rip that thing right off. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. I'm not sure what I'll do next. I have to do something about a tension and uh, tension unit and stuff. But I think I think I've got the all those parts kind of covered there. Take care. Hope to see you next time.